Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to take a look at an ad specimen and tell me whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, and then I get to tell you my opinion on said same subject. Today I want to take a look at a print ad in a magazine called The Ad News. This is the Utah, and possibly goes into Colorado, magazine for ad agencies, graphic designers, uh, people in the advertising business, celebrating their own accomplishments, of course. This particular uh, magazine was focused on the film industry in Utah, which was great for the content. But I want to take a look at a particular ad in here. This ad is for a director of photography, a DP in the film business, as they say. And I want you to take a look at this ad. It's a half page ad at the bottom of the page. And the name of the uh, director of photography is Matthew Williams. And take a look at this. Looks like he's got a picture there of the New York uh, skyline. I think it's the New York skyline. I could be wrong, but it's a picture of a city. I assume he took the picture, but it really doesn't matter whether he did or not. It's in a sepia tone or a duotone type uh, look as opposed to full color. Uh, this for a director of photography who deals with full color. So tell me, is this ad good, bad, or ugly from an effectiveness point of view? Take a look. Take as long as you'd like to uh, register a verdict, then come back and I will register mine. Again, the publication is the ad news, and it goes to ad agencies and creative directors and graphic designers and obviously people in the film business as well. And we have selected an ad that uh, focuses on a, um, uh, a director of photography in the film business. And um, this, is, this ad is kind of typical of the kinds of ads that you see in this particular publication and publications like it. It's uh, not unusual for people in the creative uh, arts, if you will, uh, to put together an ad like this, okay? The problem is it's the worst ad I've ever seen. Now, I know I've said that before, but I keep getting ads that top it. There's no headline to this ad. It just says, Matthew Williams, director of photography, and it has a photograph uh, on it, and believe it or not, there's other type on this ad. When you looked at it, could you see that other type? Reverse type at the bottom of the ad, and I can't even tell you what it says. It's so thoroughly impossible to read. There's no headline, there's no benefit statements, there's no calls to action. It's classic of the self-aggrandizement of people in the creative industry who think all they have to do is show you a pretty picture and you'll pull out your wallet and buy. I'm sure Matthew is a nice guy, but he puts together such a crummy ad, why would I want to use him to create my ads? The master's vote on this one is ugly. But you may have a different opinion, and if you do, I'd love to see or hear from you. Go ahead and put it in the comment box. Am I being too harsh on the poor guy? Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. Let them know what they think. Let you know what they think, and let me know what they think, and all that kind of stuff. And meanwhile, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you continue to gather solid, profit-proven, cash-generating marketing principles and strategies and tactics that you can use in your never-ending quest to get more customers who will pay you more money, more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. And the place you come for it all is right here on Biz Kaboom and Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.